What's going down, everyone? And if you were stay tuned for that little bit longer than usual intro, I wanted to showcase the 2970X as we open this. And you can see a little bit of cardboard tab, and then there's going to be a release function that opens this front case. This being a little bit more of an important factor right here, we have the torque wrench that's very well tuned. Testing this will be kind of a really fun one. Not for the 2970WX, this will be for my 2950X to see what it can kind of do with just that and some liquid metal and a good old fashioned heatsink. This, as we kind of get to a little portion of popping this out, almost looks like a Morphin badge. Except for I don't think there was an Orange Ranger, but they, it, maybe it's the Ryzen Ranger. There we go. Go, go, mighty Sulisa. <laughs> but I'm definitely liking this because I got the 24 core. It was an insanely good deal. The reason why I got it, even though I know that the nodes, they're utilizing the latency where it's jumping over. It's not really utilizing everything where the cache is coming in. Because I'm coming from the 2950X, which is a very nice Threadripper chip. But since the new TRX40 boards are separate from the TRX4 boards, I made use of the sales that they had during the Christmas. And that tuning portion, the X264, is mainly what I want to see what I can push this forward. Ah, awesomeness more. It's going to be cool. Let's see what happens when we open this. Well, as you can see, it comes directly off after clipping that. And you can see that this is our nice Ryzen chip right here. Pretty sweet. Even though it's two years old, I definitely do have the new... 39WX coming my way with a brand new ASUS board, their Alpha Extreme is going to be powering it for that generation, and it's going to be 32 cores versus the 24 cores and the 16 cores that I have in the, I guess, Threadripper series that I have. Now, I'm going to have to clean this right here where my little thumb is directly right there. You never want to like not put a CPU on with at least cleaning it directly, but I figured that was kind of cool for unboxing. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been unboxing. Two sticks of RAM in the background have not been unboxed that I need to kind of get into, and probably a plethora of about 20 more items. But I'm going to install this first. I kind of wanted to treat that myself as this upgrade and seeing what I can do and get to a live stream and see what ends up happening with an overclock. Can I get all cores to 4.2, 4.1? I don't know. Let's find out. But as we kind of end this, thank you very much for this day one unboxing. And maybe perhaps later on I'll have a learn it or return it for one of these. But I, I would say that you'd probably want to learn this definitely before you buy this. And that's why I studied it. Even though it has those uh, NUMA deflections, I might be switched to Linux uh, thanks to Wendell from uh, Level Up. I learned a lot about these processors. So as we can kind of see the processing point of what tomorrow might be, let's go ahead and see if my looks like a little tiny fly of life even was attracted to this processor. I'm definitely going to have to clean the crap out of that because I know this is 4K and someone's probably going to see that. I saw that at least in my eyes and we see an 8K. Anyways, that's me. Deuces. Max signing out. And the Threadripper being installed.